Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I wanna to show you seven of my favorite Raspberry Pi 3 cases. Now a Raspberry Pi 2 will also fit in most of these here. I'm gonna start with my least favorite. Now by least favorite, I mean the one I don't use as much as the other ones. They all work. They hold my Raspberry Pi 3 perfectly. And to tell you the truth here, I actually use my Pi 3 sitting on my desk with no case most of the time. In the past, I have done videos on each one of these cases. So it's a single video reviewing the case itself. If you wanna do a quick YouTube search, you can find that. Just type in ETA Prime and the name of the case. I'm also gonna leave links in the description to where you can get these cases. Most of them can be obtained on Amazon and eBay. So those links will be in the description. The only case you can't get there right now is the Rasp Tendo, and I'll leave a link to their website. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Number seven on my list, the iUniker Clear Acrylic Case. This also came with a dual fan heat sink. It's a great deal at $15.99 on Amazon. I'm just not a big fan of the acrylic cases. This is an open air case, so it does keep the pie really cool. And the price is spot on for what you're getting. Now, everything's accessible except for the GPIO pins. You could go ahead and hack this up a little bit to get to the GPIO pins, but if you're using it for a retro pie, it's a good case. Number six on my list is the Element 14 Pi Desktop. Now, the only reason this isn't at the bottom of the list is because I love the way it looks. It's a great case, but it's very pricey. $50 to $60, depending on where you get it. It does come with a decent aluminum heat sink, but the one main thing about this case, they advertise it as using an M.2 slot, so you can put an SSD in it. Now, it's running off of the USB, so even if you're using an M.2 SSD, you're still gonna be lacking in speed compared to a PC. So this one comes in at number six in my book. Number five, the Old School Tools NES Style Case. Now, I know there's a lot of hate out there about this little case. It's $20 on Amazon, and to tell you the truth, it's a great case for what you're paying. It's definitely not top of the line, but it's not 3D printed. It is injection molded. It's a little thin, doesn't really look like an NES case, but you really can't go wrong with a small case like this. It does everything you need it to do. Number four, the Rasp Tendo by Argon 40. Now, I don't like this case. It does have a power and reset button. If you set up a script, they do work. The case is really fat. It's a chunky case, and I just don't like the way it looks. It does work like it should work. I mean, everything's accessible from the outside. The SD card slot is on the bottom and it also has a little slider that you can slide out if you wanna use ethernet. I'm just not a big fan of it. Don't know what it is. I'm giving away three of these right now and I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you wanna get your hands on one of these. Number three, the Retro Flag Nest Pie Case. When this thing came out, it made a big splash. Everybody wanted to get their hands on one. There were scalpers selling them for $60 to $100 on eBay. It does have a reset and power button on the front, plus two USB 2.0 ports. Open up the cart housing here, and you got Ethernet and two more USB 2.0 ports. So this was gonna come in first place, but I think it's just been so overhyped that a lot of people are getting tired of it. I will leave links to Amazon if you wanna pick one up. They're anywhere from 20 to 25 bucks right now. You can get your hands on one in no time. Number two on my list, the Collector's Craft Super Tiny Tendo. I can't stress this enough. This is one of the best SNES style cases for the Raspberry Pi 3. It's injection molded. It's fairly cheap from 24 to $29, depending if you want a fan, and it's highly modifiable. I've put an LED in here that comes on when you turn your pie on, and plenty of room for heat sinks and fans if you wanna add one later on. A lot of people don't like the way the US version of the SNES looks, but I grew up with it and I love it. So this one places number two on my list. I highly recommend it. Number one on my list, my favorite case ever for any Raspberry Pi. This is the Flirt case. This is the Gen 2. They're $15 on Amazon. It's passively cooled, made of high quality aluminum. I've done several videos on this case, the first gen and the second gen, which you see here. This is my favorite case. It works great. It keeps your Raspberry Pi cool. I've done a lot of videos on it, thermal testing, thermal stress test, never had it overheat on me. So like I mentioned, it is made of aluminum and it has a little standoff inside of the case that makes contact with the CPU on your Raspberry Pi 3. The whole case is the heatsink. It works great. Good price at $15. 
This is my highest recommended case if you need a case for your Pi 3. So that was my top seven Raspberry Pi cases. Now these are all of my favorite cases. The Flirt case comes in number one. It's one of my oldest cases. I have about five of these from generation one to generation two. And in my opinion, it is the best Raspberry Pi case on the market still today. It looks great. It keeps your Raspberry Pi cool. It does everything you need a case to do. If you're interested, I'm gonna leave links down below to everything in this video if you wanna pick one of these cases up. But before I end this video, I wanna make one honorable mention. The official Raspberry Pi 3 case at eight to $10, depending on where you get it. This is one of the best cases you can get. It comes apart, as you can see, you can add a heat sink. The GPIO pins are also easily accessible if you remove the top. Very cheap case and it works great. I just wanted to mention this. Now I've never picked one of these up. I just ordered one tonight. So I'm gonna do a little review on this in a few days when it arrives. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm gonna leave links in the description if you wanna pick up any of these cases. I got Amazon and eBay links down below. I also wanted to mention that I do have a Facebook group. If you guys need any help with your Raspberry Pi 3 setup, running Recallbox, RetroPie, Laka, Cody, anything really, we don't just do Raspberry Pi stuff over there. All retro gaming on any platform is acceptable. So come on over and join the group. Like always, thanks for watching.